G'day guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be transferring these leaves into a slicer software so that we're going to be able to 3D print them. If you missed out on the last part when we made these leaves, I'm going to leave the video link down in the description below so you don't miss that out. How are we going to be able to transfer them into a slicer software? Well, we just have to go to the file and we just have to export it as an STL. You can also export it as a object file as well, but for some specificity, I'm just gonna do it as a .stl file right here, which is the main sort of file that they use for 3D objects. The slicer software that I'm going to be using today is Ultimaker Cura. The 3D printer I am using is the Ender 3, and the filament I am using is PLA for anyone curious out there. I just imported our, one of our sprites into our software right here and I'm going to play around with the sizes to see what I feel like is a good size to print on. At the moment, importing it straight to Blender, it, it is really, really small. So I'm going to increase it by around 2.5,000%. And this gives roughly a size of around 10 by 10 by 1 centimeter, meaning 10 centimeters widthwise around nine centimeters tall and about one centimeter high. So I feel like this is a reasonable size. So the next step that we're going to do is slice it. What this does is it's going to slice it into layers so the printer can understand how it's going to be 3D printed onto the bed. And once I've done that, we can see in the bottom right corner that it's going to weigh 20 grams. It's going to use 6.84 meters of filament, and it's going to take roughly two and a half hours to print. If we want to see more detailed, we can go into preview and we can see all the layers here and how it's going to print on each layer with these sliders over here. We can see from all the way to layer one, all the way up to layer 49. I have also, I've used this printer before, so all the settings up and right here in sort of in the advanced area is all sorted and taken care of. So we don't really need to fiddle with any of those. So after this, we're just going to have to save it to our removable drive and then insert it into our printer so we can start printing it and getting everything ready. I'm going to be doing this for each of our three different leaf meshes, and I'm going to be doing the exact same size for each of them, and then saving it onto the removable drive for our printer. After that, I'm going to get a time lapse of all th three, or at least one of these leaves printing in a time lapse, so that you can see the process on how these leaves are being 3D printed, and then I'm going to show you the finished results with them. The color of these leaves are going to be gold for this original leaf here, or the uh, first leaf sprite, on a request for one of, of one of you guys on the poll that we did to see what color these are going to be. So this leaf sprite here is going to be gold, and then the other two are going to be green, as you guys voted for that to be green as the other two. So I'll meet you guys back into the time lapse where you can see this leaf being printed.
In the end, the print went smoothly, the print came off quickly and effortlessly, the print quality itself was good, high quality, and in the end, nothing went wrong, which is always good to hear. I will only be adding the first leaf here in this video with time lapse. Uh, if you want to see the other two leaves as time lapses, then please leave a comment below if you do want to see that. And I will make a full video of all three printed leaves, time lapses, so you can see that. Now, this concludes the end of me 3D printing and this 3D printing project. If you would want to see more like this or have any other suggestions of what I could do, then please leave them down in the comments below. But if you enjoyed this, this series of me 3D printing, then make sure you do hit the like button and subscribe as well. And as always, have a good one.